Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter. Boom, 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 review stuff. And I'm sitting at the gas pump at Speedway, <laughs> just getting prepared for this video. No, I didn't get gas, I didn't do anything. I just pulled in here and just arranged my camera. <laughs> this is my studio, Speedway is my studio, don't even worry about it. Okay, so I am on my way to go to Starbucks to get uh, my coffee for the day. And then I am going to also review one of their, I guess their new fall frappuccino. I don't even know what it's called. It's the mocha something, something, something. I think I reviewed it last year, but I'm gonna try it again this year because I'm trying all of their fall drinks again. I mean, why wouldn't I? I'm a review channel, you know? It's like if the McRib comes out once and you're a review channel and it comes out again, you just review it over and over and over again because it might have changed, you know? Somebody actually asked in the comment section, they're like, do these drinks taste different year to year? And I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, because I don't remember the pumpkin spice latte. I mean, I remember it, but it's not like, it's like, you know, it's not like I just had one yesterday that I can compare it to. I'm, I, this isn't like, you know, I work for Bon Appetit magazine or anything like that. But anyway, I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, I just have a review channel on YouTube and you're watching it, so know your place. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But anyway, uh, by the way, I have new merch, so go check it out. I have some family friendly merch over there and I have some good Judy merch. It's listed below. I love to do that because that's when I used to watch YouTube before I had YouTube channels and they'd always say it's linked below. I get so excited and then I look and then it was and I was like, oh my God. So now I always like to tell people to go there and go there, right? You know what I mean? Go look here and go look there and go look everywhere, right? Like there's a subscription button. Make sure that you turn on the notifications right here below. You know what I mean? As above, so below. I love all that. So anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to go review this Frappuccino. My husband is home for our anniversary staycation, which is basically meant we have been in bed napping and hanging out for like the last two days and going out to eat is basically what our vacation is, which is basically all of our vacations if we could go to the pool, but the gods decided to uh, give us cloudy, rainy weather. It thunderstormed like crazy today when we were going to brunch. We went to this brunch at this place called First Watch. Now, we both went for healthy avocado toast, which is on their healthier side menu, and Alex ended up getting a huge br breakfast burrito, and it was like literally like this big, and it's like steak and eggs and all kinds of stuff in it. And I got, okay, now I'm on a diet starting today. I'm trying to eat more fruits and vegetables. I said this joke on Twitter, and like nobody understood it, and I was like, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward joke, and people were like, well, if you're really starting a diet, why are you eating that? I said I was trying to eat more fruits and vegetables, which is why I had the lemon ricotta pancakes for breakfast. People didn't get it. Woo! 1987 wants your sense of humor back. Okay. So, anyway, I thought that was a fine joke. I thought I was ready for stand-up after that joke. I do, though. I would love to do stand-up. So, I have my new cup. You know, somebody told me that. These are the fall cups where they actually have Halloween cups that are coming out, too. I am so bitter. And let me just tell you. Somebody, I had to order this cup, this the pink studded cup. This person is not even trying to pay attention in front of me. They're like looking at their phone or something like that. Welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Um, oh, hi, Josh. How are you? I'm doing well, Peter. How are you? I'm good. Can I get um, a grande salted caramel mocha frappuccino? Uh-huh. And then can I also get a venti uh, iced blonde Americano, Americano, Americano um, with one and a half equal? Alright, okay, sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. Yours is the fantastic wand, Americano, with one and a half. Okay, anything else today? Nope, that's it. Alright, I'll see you up here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Salted caramel mocha frappuccino. I gotta remember that. I'm never gonna remember that. But I feel like they had it out before, didn't they? But it's on their new menu, so we're gonna try it again. Okay, so there's not a, a grande, which is like this. Salted caramel mocha frappuccino is $5.95 or something like that. Okay, I went and I got a donut and a frozen coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, and it was about the same price, and you got a huge coffee and a donut with that. They, they're not offering me no donuts. Does Starbucks not think I might like a donut? <laughs> Has anybody had the donuts at Starbucks? I mean, they have them in there, but they look kind of like sadly donuts to me. Like they taste real soggy or something. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I had the lemon ricotta pancakes. I didn't even eat all of them. I only ate like, uh, I was gonna say half, but probably more like two thirds of them. They were good though. We went on a trip a couple years ago to Connecticut 
And um, we, I had this whole idea for a book while I was living there and stuff, uh, while I was living there, while we were staying there. Alex had his work convention thing that he was going to. It was this real small town. And uh, so we stayed at this bed and breakfast. This bed and breakfast was so adorable. It was out in the middle of nowhere. It had like three or four buildings. It had like a main house that was like white and then it had like three or four buildings. This woman keeps on looking in her rear view mirror like why is he talking to himself? Don't even worry about it. I'm a review channel, okay? <laughs> I don't ask about your Disney bumper sticker. Like, okay, are you obsessed? Probably. How many times a year do you go? Six. You tell all your friends about how you had the fast pass. Nobody cares! She just turned around and looked at me. Nobody cares! <laughs> piss off. I mean, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but anyway, um, do you guys like the Disney? I can't even get through one of their movies. I mean, let alone have to go to the Disney parks. <laughs> I do kind of want to go to the Disney park, so I would think that'd be fun. Our friends, Melissa and Jason, they go every year for Halloween. They love Disney. They stay at all the different, like, places, like, inside, you know, that you can stay at and stuff. Alex really wants to go and stay at Animal Park, so, or Animal Kingdom, or whatever it's called. I want to do, uh, what's the one, the, the grand one, <laughs> of course, if that's where I want to go. <laughs> I don't know, they should call it the, the, the bougie building or something like that. Do they sell the monorail? I want to ride the monorail. <clears throat> I did that like when I was 10 and I haven't done it since. But anyway, we went to this place in Connecticut, I don't even remember what the town was. It had, it was like near Mystic and it had like one of the oldest, I think it had the oldest restaurant in the United States and we ate there. We sat outside, we had like burgers and french fries or like they had like a veggie burger, you know. But it was like the oldest restaurant in the United States and this little like street that went down and like all of the houses had like what year they were built on them, which was very, very cool. And then at the end there was like a marina kind of deal. Do you know, what, does anybody know what city I'm talking about? I can't remember what city, but it was near Mystic. But anyway, um, so I loved this little trip because at, we were just talking about it at brunch today because this place reminded, well, they had the lemon ricotta pancakes at this bed and breakfast. And so I would go over there in the morning and I would have my lemon ricotta pancakes and coffee in this little house. It was real cute, you know? And Alex would be at his conference all day. He went there at like seven in the morning. He didn't get done until like six, right? And they brought him in like Subway and things like that while I was having lemon ricotta pancakes. It wasn't even my work conference. But anyway, the one thing was like, it. I couldn't upload the, my videos at the hotel or the, at the bed and breakfast because the Wi-Fi was so bad. So I had to drive up and down the street. So I was just listening to, I, I was listening to some James Patterson book that he wrote with Bill Clinton. I can't remember what it was called. The President is Missing. I was listening to that while I was there, an audio book. I don't know what she ordered, my, my lord, she's taking forever. So I um, would just drive up and down the street of this town that was so adorable. I mean, I could tell you everything about this town. And uh, then I would just, um, she looks so sad. She just is like, I can't believe this is my life. 15 frappuccinos for the, before I go pick up the kids for school, from school, so anyway. <laughs> well, it is. Welcome to your world, I guess. We all have one we created, this is yours. Anyway, but don't be sad. Don't, don't be sad. Oh, she's been waiting all that time for a croissant? Are you kidding me? All that time for a croissant, I have had it. But anyway, I love that little trip. I love she waited all that time for a croissant. That was for egg bites. We've got a new person on food, so. Okay, well, congratulations. Right. Why didn't the pepper participate in archery? He didn't have an arrow. I don't get it. Have an arrow, the pepper, he didn't have Oh, I like that, it's cute. <laughs> no, I have to explain it to everybody. <laughs> have a good one, thank you. <laughs> that was cute. He didn't have an arrow. <laughs> that took me a while though, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not the fastest. Okay, we're gonna just park right here. I just took up two spaces. Don't you hate when people do that? But I did. And I'm only gonna be here for a second review, so it doesn't matter. Woo! Okay. I kind of remember this from last year. First of all, I need to prepare my <laughs> coffee du jour. <laughs> I saw this TikTok yesterday and it's so true. It's this woman, I can't remember her name. By the way, did you know that I have a TikTok? I did that WAP dance. <laughs> what is this woman? Her name is, okay, it's Caitlin Hello is her name. She has like millions of followers. But anyway, she does this one character that's like a mom, like at the nail salon and all this kind of stuff. It's so funny, but anyway, 
she did this one and she's like, it's like when your friend just got back from being abroad and it's like, <laughs> this girl shows up and she's like, bonjour. <laughs> And she's like, oh, I had such a wonderful trip. Oh, on my head. Oh, this is a barre. And she says, like, all this stuff. Like, the words that she says are, like, all, like, with, a, like, this, like, fake French accent. You know, she's like, oh, my God, I met this guy. And I, we're totally in love. And his name is Pierre. <laughs> and it's literally, like, every friend I've ever had of mine that goes, like, somewhere. And, you know, they went for four days. And when they come back, they've totally, like, <laughs> taken on the culture. They have become... Thailand, you know. I had this friend of mine. I shouldn't say this on here in case she watches this video, but I don't care. I think I joked with her at a time. She went to Greece and she came back. And the first time I saw her, I literally, I swear to God, you guys, she had on head to toe, like white, like this outfit that looked very toga ish, but it wasn't. It was like an outfit, like, you know. And then she had her like hair up, like in these, like, kind of like braid, you know. She looked very Greek, like Greek goddess, you know what I mean? With all this gold jewelry on and stuff. And I almost was kind of like, is this like a cartoon? Like, are we serious about this right now? I mean, she was dead serious about all this stuff that she had bought. I, mean, I was very happy for her that she got to go to Greece, but I was like, okay, like I'm a little confused but anyway let's try this and see how good this is basically we're my uh, my review channel this is okay it's just okay I'm not that thrown out by it I can tell you after one sip it tastes kind of like flat uh, it tastes like almost kind of like day day old uh, <laughs> day stew I was gonna say no it tastes like almost like day old chocolate milk is kind of how it tastes to me it doesn't taste good I should go back and watch and see what I said about this last year. I wouldn't get this again, ever. Yeah, it kind of tastes like sour chocolate milk. I think it's the salted part, the salted caramel mixed with like the chocolate frappuccino part. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Now I'm gonna have to give that to somebody. I wouldn't get that again. Let's go over to my good Judy Tanya. She'll drink it. She likes it. Basically, my review channel is where I tell stories. <laughs> I tell stories on my friends. <laughs> and then I kind of review food for a minute. Anyway, I'm giving that a 1.2 because it was horrible. And I don't think you should spend your money on it. But if you want to, go try it. And I will tell you that people are very, very happy that I told them to go get the pumpkin cream cold brew. I told Alex's best friend and she put it on Instagram and she was like, oh, I follow Peter's review and a recommendation and it really is so good. See, I should have got that today instead. Damn it, Janet, I wanted to get that pumpkin cold brew. Anyway, um, let me know what you think if you've tried it, if you've tried this fantastic 1.2 drink. I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.